Welcome to PseudoWrite, the AI made just for writers and authors so you can get unstuck and write better, faster. This is the first video in our Quick Start series, focused on navigating PseudoWrite's interface. When you first log in, you'll be dropped onto PseudoWrite's homepage. Along the right, you'll see a few helpful tips, and in this main section, all of your projects will be displayed. I only have one project right now, but let's start a new one. If I click on New, a new project is created and I'm dropped directly into it. This main section is your editor. You'll see you have space for a title and body. And along the top you have rich formatting options just like most word editors. On the right here is your history column. Later on this is where your AI outputs will appear. For now this space is occupied by other tips and tricks. On the left, we have a menu bar that includes details about our project. It also includes a list of documents. Right now, we've only got a single document, but if we wanted to, we could have multiple documents. You could create them right here by clicking Add New, or you can click Import to bring in documents of your own. If you decide that you want to delete a document, just find the three dots. If you click on it, you'll see delete, as well as a few other options. This works for projects too. Finally, along the top, we have our AI tools, write, rewrite, describe, brainstorm, and plugins. We'll cover those in a future video. One nice thing about this interface is that you can customize pretty much whatever. Want to change your document or project name? Just double click. Same goes for project. We can also change the appearance of PseudoWrite using the controls up in the settings gear on the upper right. If I click this gear, you'll see I can change the font size, the text size, the line spacing, and even the theme. So if Sorbet is a little colorful for me, I could toggle to Moonbeam, for example. Finally, you can also drag to resize. Just grab the handle and change the size. You can also use these little arrows to collapse them all together this little arrow in the upper right of the editor will collapse the top menu bar, so you can fully enter focus mode. That's it for now. Stay tuned to the next video where we'll talk about getting started with First Draft.